passed down for generations, the same family has lived atop Fulton Hill in San Marcos for more than a century. But soon the final chapter of the Fulton Ranch must come to a close. News Ace Tim Blodgett has the story from the North County. It's been in the Fulton family for six generations, and now the ranch house on top of a hill overlooking the city of San Marcos is up for sale and some of the memories that come with it. In 1893, a man named John Fulton purchased 65 acres of land and perched his barn and house on top of a hill. 128 years later, it's still there, and on the property is John Fulton's great, 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 great granddaughter. But for those who grew up on the Fulton Ranch or went there in the summertime, they will remember it as a backdrop to childhood and the memories that come with it. We had 65 acres to get in trouble with, but we never got in trouble. The big pepper tree was a great thing to climb up and make forts in. There were eight kids living here, and it was really like the Little Rascals or Andy and Mayberry. It was a Fun. great place to grow up. I always loved the watermelon picture. Cousins Packy McFarland and Clifford Hard owe some of their fondest memories to this ranch, and the black and white photos hanging on the wall of the barn make them all come flooding back. Don't know if that's the big pepper tree, but it might be. But as time moved on, so did the kids. Packy's sister Mary moved to Nebraska, and for the first time in 128 years, the Fulton Ranch sits empty. The family believes it's the right time to sell the historic property. And for someone to say, aren't, aren't you sad it's gonna be sold? I am so blessed to have 70 plus years of memories here, a place to go for Christmas, for holidays, to visit relatives. I've always been welcome. Awesome sauce. During the estate sale this weekend, curious shoppers browsed family relics or simply wanted to tour the old Fulton barn on the oh, hill. You have to ride it down the hill. But after the family finds a buyer for the old ranch, a piece of history will end in San Marcos. But the stories and the memories of the house will be told for generations to come. Sometimes you have to go back to childhood to properly say goodbye. In fact, right over here beneath that pepper tree, Packy and I spent the night sleeping outdoors just like a little kid as a way of saying goodbye. That was uh, about a month ago. Yeah. And it's much noisier now in San Marcos than it was in the 1950s. Tim Blodgett, News 8.